Hey guys, I woke up this morning with lots and lots of energy. Um, and I should have gone to the store, but it's cold out, so the energy is limited to inside. Um, maybe I'll go to the store tomorrow. If you go to the store in the mornings, like go to Walmart, you get all the good deals, like all this cheap bakery stuff. The deli slices up like the ends of their meats, and you can get, you know, turkey and ham. You know, for like half the price what it's normally on the shelf. So anyhow, now that you stare at these babies, you're all probably wondering, what the hell are those? And basically, in my opinion, they're the world's coolest rats. Um, a little bit of confusion right now. And for those of you who are kind of new and following, um, this variety has popped up about 30 years ago. It's been found and lost a couple of times since then amongst breeders and recently showed up a couple of years ago or uh, actually I think three years ago um, to a feeder breeder in Wisconsin. He then sold uh, a rat to a breeder, a hobby breeder or a hobby pet breeder to a, you know in Wisconsin. They uh, had worked with the, with the gene a little bit uh, another breeder acquired them as well, and she's working with the genes. So basically, there's kind of like two pet bloodlines running out there right now. But anyhow, there's a little bit of a discrepancy amongst the name for these guys. They've been known as Patchworks and True Patchworks. Uh, there will be some confusion because Double Rex, uh, if their coat is patchy, they're also called Patchworks. So there's a there's an issue, and then the other breeder, she's calling her bloodline werewolves, which is not a name I really like, because werewolves suggest that they kind of look normal, and then they change over to the funky pattern, and they never look normal. So, they look like baby possums right now. The fully cogent ones you're seeing there are carriers. The father is a patchwork, and the mother was a carrier, and I luckily got seven patchworks. And they're nice and chunky. Although I gotta admit, I've been feeding the tar out of the mother. Um, things like uh, smoothies, protein drinks, hard-boiled eggs, oatmeal, um, you name it, cottage cheese, yogurt, all sorts of stuff. So, I'm not sure that's why, but the coats on these babies are like astounding. Um, the ones that have hair. Look at that hair. If you were to hold one of these babies, it feels like, um, almost like coarse peach fuzz. And this is just, uh, stage one. What are you doing in there? There's one with top ears that I'm so excited about. All the rest are dumbos. And there are, of the, of the patchwork, there are four males, three females, and... I am going to be placing two, no, three, no, two, I'm sorry, two of the patchwork males. I don't need all four. Um, although I really want them for rat acting, I, uh, I don't need to um, keep them all, and I don't use males for the acting, especially if they're hairless because their little man bits are, are quite noticeable. Oh my god, they're so freaking cute. This is my second video of them. The first video is having issues. So, with that being said, there's the carriers will be staying. And we've been talking about um, the breeder of this line seems to think that there might be satin in the line. Um, and I don't know, their hair is kind of funky considering they're, they're young. And normally in satin, you see kind of a little bit of a wonky whisker. whisker and uh, the coat has like a, a greasy look to it. I don't know how else to put it. And this coat kind of has that wet look to it. Um, they're peeing on themselves because they, they are a little nervous. It's a new bloodline. And even though I handle these babies quite a bit, um, they, you see the carriers are just hiding. The patchworks have been great. So, there's going to be a couple of, uh, you know, things with patchworks if I decide to let some go as pets. Um, 
Anyhow, I'm, I'm so busy. I, I'm so in awe at staring at them. You have no idea. I want to show you the little top beard one. They're just, they look like baby possums. They're freaking adorable. <laughs> Stop. Show your face. I know it's a flashy, flashy thing, but you can't look cute. Here, let's try another one. Oh my god! They really do. I swear to god, they look like baby possums. That's what she call them, possums. That's it. Renaming them possums. There's the top eared one. The other ear spawn is just crumpled on. Just crumpled or folded over on itself. These babies look super. They're nice and fat. Um, they're actually, you know, really big for their age. But, uh, super uberly excited. Okay, guys, just wanted to share. Losing my train of thought. I'm just so excited. I could stare at these guys all day. Look at how much smaller the patchworks are from the standards. Or the carriers, I should say. And the carriers do. They have that wet look to them. And that... Oh, well, that is a wet look. That's a pea streak right down the back of them, of course. When I started to say this particular bloodline, the mother's very skittish. Um, the dad's really outgoing, which is kind of funny because the dad's the patchwork and, you know, he's outgoing and friendly. See that little wiggle? That's a pee wiggle. That's a pee wiggle. But, uh, yeah, you work with the line. You keep the ones that are better, more outgoing. The mother's not mean at all. She's just shy. And the babies do exactly what the mother does. Like when I put my hand in her cage, she goes under the bedding. The little uh, carrier babies do the same thing. But none of the patchworks do. It's kind of weird. <laughs> they really do. They look like baby possums. Sometimes I scratch at the side of the bucket to get them to look up. Alright, i got to let you guys go because I'll sit here all day and videotape.